Hello everybody, Canada Graphs here. This is a set report for The Flash, Season 8, Episode 14. This is uh, filmed a week or two ago. Well, a week or two ago from whenever I do this for Patreon. Um, this is a scene with a mystery man that you see there holding a couple of bags and suited up in some type of uniform. You see a couple of police officers to the right. They uh, obviously are telling him to stop. He walks over and you see him like just pick up and throw something. Later on, uh, I um, saw them moving a police car that was upside down into position. So that's what he picked up and threw was a police car. They actually did an explosion scene later in the day, but I wasn't there for that. Um, for those of you that don't really follow my day-to-day, -day, I'm on crutches right now. This is the first thing I did on my crutches. So uh, I, I was worn out by the end of the day, to, so I didn't stick around for the explosion scene. Um, there you get a better look at him. You can also see Grant Gustin there on set. Um, he did do uh, some scenes. And they're adjusting some stuff on this mystery guy. I described him in my blog as a cross between a stormtrooper, a Nordic sniper, and maybe a uh, discount atom suit. Um, here is Kayla Compton doing some dance steps with Grant. And you can see Danielle Nicolette also stand there. And you can see it's also raining quite a bit. Um, unfortunately, uh, yeah, one of those days where it just rained in Vancouver. We haven't had a lot of rain in the last little while, but just on this particular day, it just happened to rain. Just dumb luck. Uh, Grant, Grant spent a lot of his time just hanging out on that post. <laughs> In between takes, he, he didn't uh, do much of anything else. Uh, you can see the director there. Um, I forgot her name, but maybe I'll uh, edit it in later. But she was there talking to them, telling them, okay, I need you to stand here, stand there. Um, and uh, you see Grant and the mystery guy are still there in the scene. So here they are still... Uh, in between takes. I didn't get very much of them actually filming. Almost everything I got from them on this day is between takes because one, I was on crutches so I couldn't be as as uh, swift and, and uh, mo moving as much as I usually would and uh, two, where I was standing was directly in the line of the shot for a large portion of the day so when they would call rolling I would have to go and find a spot standing behind a wall so that I wasn't in the shot. So I really couldn't shoot much of anything on this day. So yeah, most of everything I got was um, between takes, unfortunately. I did, get a, I did get a couple of small parts, as you'll see in a bit, but most of what I got was them in between takes this day. Um... I don't have a lot else to add at this moment. You can see uh, Danielle there taking off her jacket, so they're probably about to film at this time. Um, you can see them doing a little bit of last minute makeup. Uh, they often, often are redoing makeup of actors and actresses in between scenes because they need it to look exactly the same every take. So it, a little bit of rain just washes away like one little spot and all of a sudden they have to redo half of it, you know. So you're seeing here a little bit of the scene. Um, uh, here comes the guy walking over. The three of them are standing there, like looking at him. Um, I don't know what what's going on uh, audibly. I couldn't hear any of the scenes. So I can't tell you what the conversation was about, but you can see they're having some sort of conversation. Um, by the way, this is outside of a Central City Savings and Loans. That's the business that he's uh, stealing from. You see he does like a stomp step and they all rumble and shake from it. Then he walks away, goes back towards his uh, bags, picks them up. And uh, he's just like, I'm, I'm heading out of here. Uh, thanks for hanging out and watching me, but I'm out of here. And um, you can see uh, Grant has gone out of my frame, but he's standing behind that blue post there. So... This happened a little later. Allegra had tried to use her powers and somehow ended up on the ground and Cecile walked over to check on her. And um, 
she's just then kind of like, dude, what the hell? That's a little overkill, don't you think? And she is uh, confronting him. And I don't know what he does. I don't know how or why, but you can see Cecile starting to go through a few different emotions there. And, like, I don't know how else to describe it, uh, except... I mean, you can tell there she's doing that headache thing you see her sometimes get when she senses other people's uh, feelings. But I don't really... I don't know how else to describe it. She, she kind of holds her stomach a couple of times, too, so I don't know what that's about either. Um, but you can see her... She, she's doing that, like, I'm sensing something feeling... But uh, then she goes back, she, uh, you know, checks on Allegra after the mystery character leaves. And you can see Barry comes in to check uh, conveniently after the fact. And then he puts his, thing, his hand to the ear kind of to page someone back at the Star Labs. Well, uh, Cecile helps Allegra up and seems to need to hold her to hold her up. And that's it for this set. I will have um, some uh, still photos for you now from the set. These are the two cops that uh, confronted the mystery man um, in, the, in the scene. And here he is. Um, that's when he's in the middle of doing that lifting the car part. There he is with the bags. You can see in the close-ups there, you can really see like it's got a bit of a look like a mix between a discount atom suit and like a nordic stormtrooper sniper i don't know how else to describe it there's that uh, police car i said they were gonna blow up in one of the scenes that i didn't uh stick around for but that that was the car they were gonna blow up this is just grant uh getting ready at the start of the day you can see there's a person behind him like stitching in all of the details on the on his uh, mask to make sure it's in position uh you know he, obviously he can't reach around and do that himself so they have someone else do that you can see down around the waist there there's like a little um uh i forgot the name for the thing um it sticks to things but that's to hold the belt in place uh velcro that's the word i was looking for um yeah, there's Daniel Nicolette uh, getting ready for shooting. There's uh, Kayla Compton uh, getting ready to work. And um, that's her again. Uh, just, I can't tell if that was in scene or not. I can't recall. Um, there's Danielle and Kayla uh, there. You can see Danielle's got like high heels on because she's really short in person. So they need to make her look... A little closer to their height for filming so that uh, the camera like they're not shooting from so far away um, there's Grant Grant uh, I think noticed me there so he's giving me a little smirk uh, there's Kayla just showing a look I don't know what it is there's Kayla and Danielle uh, with Grant uh, in between takes they, 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 these three seem to be really in a good mood together on set. They're, uh, you know, pretty chill, especially considering it was kind of, it was wet and a little cold at times during the day, so everyone seemed to be in a good mood considering the weather. Here's Grant with the mystery guy uh, chatting between takes. And uh, there's Grant looking at something. Don't know what he's looking at. Um... There he is, chatting with Danielle and Kayla, you know, just in between takes, kind of just like, yeah, here I am holding up this post. This is them trying to stay out of the rain. There was one little area that had a cover near the building, and they would stand there in between takes when it was really raining bad, which was often. <laughs> um, here they are again, just like, you know, having, having a good time in between takes. Uh... You can, you can see how short, even with her high heels on, Danielle is compared to uh, Grant there. <laughs> uh, there's uh, Danielle in scene, uh, giving this like shocked look at uh, Kayla, and there's Kay there's Kayla. That This is when she's falling down to the ground. Um, there she is on the ground, having a little nap, having a little rest, getting uh, warmed up, you know. Take a little nap, get ready. 
This is a scene that Pagey had noticed. The uh, binder in that guy's hand has a comic book cover on it. If you watch Pagey's video on it, you know what I'm talking about. It's apparently a reference to a uh, comic book uh, storyline and is suspected that might be what the back half of the season is about. There's a jitters tray there and that is it for this video. I hope I will have some more for you in the future. As of right now, I have one more coming up uh, down the line, but after that I don't have any more currently, but I do have one more set coming up for episode 815. I, thanks again. Bye.